Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you doing? Hope you're doing great. Uh, check out the description box, all the nice links, the Twitter, Discord, all that stuff. Uh, also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content, it really helps me out a lot. Um, and thank you all for all your support so far, right? Really, really, really appreciate it. it really means a lot to me. Um, but here we are, all right? Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do the velocity and the acceleration for the y direction as well and we're going to make sure we do all these checks within this update instead so that makes it a little simpler for us because uh, we can just do this max velocity check and then we'll just do the max velocity check everything in there so the update is going to basically be our safeguard for everything. Uh, we'll have two max velocity checks here. And then we will do the deceleration um, x positive. Uh, and then we'll do the deceleration y positive. Deceleration y positive. Uh, and then we'll just do the same thing for Y, basically. All you have to do is copy-paste all of this. Um, let's see. No, this this is actually going to be in the other one. Here we go. So, max velocity check X. Um, negative positive check for positive x mm, let's see okay so we can't do that obviously we can't do the y in here because i'm dumb um we have to do the exact same thing for y so this is x greater and then else if and then we'll do if so basically, you know what we could do? We could have this whole thing. Just copy all of this. Um, deceleration x negative. Uh, check for negative x. So. Hmm. What's a good comment? deceleration obviously deceleration max velocity check we'll do that just shorter comments a little better to read um, deceleration X no way this is not only deceleration we'll just copy paste it here as y check for positive y max velocity check check for negative y okay so now we can just kind of interchange everything yeah there we go okay so let's start with this now we can just interchange everything so if max velocity y is e is larger than zero everything just change everything to y okay um that's all you're gonna have to do. Nothing special. Okay, so we'll we just fixed all of this, changed everything to Y. Do the same thing for this other one. To so just clean stuff up, made stuff look a little nicer, and we got this is the result for Y. Okay, and this is the result for X. So if we can see this code. And at the end, we actually do the final move. And then here we're accelerating it. So I'm just going to add a little comment here before we test this out. Mm. Decelerates the entity or the sprite. Sprite. And sets the velocity to zero or and sets and checks controls the maximum 
velocity um, moves the sprite and then moves the sprite. So I guess that's what it does. Not the best comment. I'm sure you can do better comments, but I just want to test this out now. So uh, there you go. So let's just try this, run it. We'll see if this works. So now we should have controls for both X and Y and we're moving, we're moving a little more smoothly. I hope you can see that. And we have a larger maximum velocity. So one thing we could do, we could go to a player and we can actually set this to not th maybe 300 and we'll increase the thing, increase this to 15 and increase this to five. So hopefully this will be a little faster. And I don't know if this is frame rate dependent yet. I'm going to have to check it out. Yeah, so this feels a little better. It's a little more snappy. It's a little, it's a little nicer. Um, and yeah, it looks more like a real game. You know, this is how, this is how stuff moves in games. Smooth. Real smooth and nice. Um, so that is, uh, that is one way to make a nice movement component. Just gonna put all of those like that. Um, and then we accelerate it just like this. Okay, looking good, guys and girls. Looking good, looking good. We could keep these open actually. And we move the character, the player. Now, what we could do is actually before we before we start off with the animation component um, and I'm thinking like this we're gonna build components and then we're gonna flesh them out as we see fit so when the need arises we're gonna add com add like uh, components or we'll add functionality to components as the need arises uh, so this will be a good way for us to to handle these these things because you can't just put in everything at once you're gonna have to think about it and, and test stuff out and everything uh, so that's why I haven't made all the components and everything. We'll just figure it out as we go along. Um, one thing I want to do in main menu state later as well is to add the settings menu because that will be really easy, really good for us to play around with key binds and, uh, and graphic settings and, and all that stuff. So, uh, so that's something I really want to do. But I do want to create a little button for the editor. So we'll just say editor equals editor, or we'll call it editor state. Editor. And we copy this from this one. So I'm going to have to put a 600 here and just 800 on the quit exit state. And we're going to make button look a little nicer as well soon enough. Uh, but the edit state doesn't really do anything for us just yet because we don't have an editor state. So we should be able to go into editor, settings, editor, and then the new game, obviously, and the quit. Um, so yeah, that looks that looks pretty nice. I don't know why this is so, so ugly, the new game. Because um, I'm updating it. And then let me just check one thing button. Okay. Button idle, blah, 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 button idle. Draw shape, draw text. Okay, that's cool. Um, what happens if we do this? If we set this to like 50? Let's see, it will look really weird. But I just want to see if it's kind of blurry still. No, it's not that blurry. Okay, so that, that looks nice. That looks nice. All right, so we have a few minutes. You know what, guys? Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to add a little thing to button here before we end. And that's going to be some uh, some stuff for text. So this is basically our colors. Um, and then we're going to do... What we're going to do is we're going to say... What does it take? Unsigned 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 character size ok 
character. Uh, why is that not working? I think I did the English UK character size. I'm going to put these to underscores as well because they're local variables. Um, but yeah, character size. And then we're going to have the SF color uh, text idle color. And then we're just going to copy this so we can make really fleshed out buttons. Okay, I'm just going to prepare this for now. Uh, text hover color text uh, active color so we're gonna have these colors and this character size you just copy this these four things that I created and put them in button.h so I'm gonna close everything all but this put in button.h uh, right after here so we do have some more options to play around with idle color we'll actually change this right now to underscores because that helps us out a little bit uh, once you do that I'll just copy these three actually and I'll paste them down here to make it all look identical so there you go all right we're good uh, now the next step is going to be to set the this idle color idle color just do the underscore thing for all of these hover color okay cool um, and here we have all the text stuff so sf color text idle color uh, hover and then in the next video we're probably going to use this act color I'm sorry for bringing up a bunch of new stuff at the end of the video but we still you know it's cool a few minutes on this doesn't hurt anybody so we have all the text colors uh, we have the text there and then we're just gonna say character size their size in for the character size obviously and then we're gonna say this text idle color equals text idle color and make four copies of these three copies of these hover for hover and active for the active so now we save the text some some of these text kind of uh, what do you call it um, uh, text uh, options um, text idle color so there you go so there you go a little more customized right here and set fill color idle color for the shape that's fine what we could do is actually remove that from the bottom to make it more consistent just put it below here set fill color idle color just like that boom okay easy peasy now the constructor is done the constructor is very much done button hover button state here we go all right so this isn't too hard this text dot set fill color this idle text text idle color very very simple right so that's all we're gonna do we're just gonna make sure we can customize the text as we want to uh, text hover color text active color okay so we got all of these um, and then we'll just do red or blue for the error color uh, blue for the error color just like that and we'll draw the text and everything just as usual so now we can customize our text a little more for our buttons and that's exactly what we wanted now where do we create our buttons in the main menu state um, here we go so that's a new button that's the font this is the character size so what I could do I could do 50 here and I could do 0 on all of the background colors I'll just copy all of these 
like that. Um, so we got three colors. What was the new thing? Character size and three colors. Uh, character size. Intent SF font. Int SF color, SF color, SF color. Two, three, four. The text, character size. Hmm. Let's see. Let's do dot F on all of these actually. Dot F, dot F, dot F, dot F. And then these are the colors. I don't know where. Okay, that is the end of button. These are the four. Then we'll get the font. Then we should have this integer. Oh, here we go. This is where we need the comma and we're fine. Okay, so uh, 200. This is active, so I'm going to put it at 50. Here I'm going to say 250. And I'm going to say 200. Um, and maybe even make it really bright when I hover on it. Uh, there we go. Okay, so I just wanna I just wanna test that actually. Copy all of this up until here and just paste it on all of these buttons like this. And then we'll set all of these to zero. All the uh, colors for the bodies and we'll just have the text. So if I run this now, hopefully they will just have text buttons. And it'll look really cool. Oof, this is a long video. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, there you go. So we got a nice looking... See how they disappear? And you can go new game. Boom. Alright. And obviously we need to increase the size of the buttons. Uh, because, uh, because, yeah, you know, we want the hover effect. Um, but yeah, we'll do that in the next video. It doesn't really matter. This makes it look a little nicer, I think. So check it out. Play around with it. Sorry for the long video. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for all the support. Take care. And I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, right? Bye-bye.